Welcome to My Moxie Life. Check out my first LA schedule and get ready with me. Good morning, everyone. I'm acting more chipper than I feel. Uh, so I made the stupid decision to make an 8 a.m. dentist appointment. <laughs> so I'm off to the dentist. Um, question for all of you. Do you floss? I'm a terrible flosser. I hate flossing. And I don't know why. Like, if you use one of those little flossers, it's really not that big of a deal. So, um, I am going to the dentist right now, and I thought I would take you along with me as I get ready for my three-day trip that starts tomorrow. Um, instead of just going, ooh, here's how I commute, I'm going to take you along with me. I have this appointment. I have a doctor's appointment. I have to get groceries and pack. So, let's do all that together. All right, dentist appointment done. Do my teeth look sparkly? <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. I want to do bleaching. I've done the strips, and I just don't see a big improvement. Um, she was recommending uh, trays. Does anybody do like any kind of bleaching that they swear by? Hey guys, so I realized I'm not very good at a day in the life videos. I have done no video in today. <laughs> I took you to the dentist and that was the end. Um, I am so sorry. Well, things changed. Uh, so I was supposed to um, be getting ready to leave for a trip and uh, commuting today. And then a trip popped into open time that uh, is it reports at like three tomorrow instead of going early in the morning, which comes with a little bit of a drawback because I will get back late on Sunday night, but it does have a possibility. Um, we can do a thing called a jetway trade. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but a jetway trade is say I have a leg, a leg finishing. Um, well, it starts in Burbank and then that's my last leg. So I go to, from Burbank to Oakland. Well, my car is in Burbank and that's where I commute from. So if somebody needed to get from Burbank to Oakland and wanted to pick up that last leg, we call that a jetway trade. So I decided that I would rather leave a little bit later, not pay for a hotel tonight. And then, um, possibly get that jetway trade so then I would give up my last leg somebody would pick it up um, they would get paid for it obviously and uh, then I could just finish in Burbank and not have to worry about sleeping in Oakland because I won't get back before you know the last fight out blah 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 all of that so um, I've never actually had anybody pick up a jetway trade but it's always worth a try it could happen um, especially on a Sunday um, flights can get a little busy, so if someone is commuting for Monday, um, it could be, could potentially happen, and usually I'll put a few extra bucks on it, you know, like, let me buy you dinner type of thing. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. So, um, tomorrow I'm actually just working one leg, uh, to Kauai, um, which is, sounds great, but it's really not that great because we only have like a 10 and a half maybe 11 hour overnight so we get in at like 7 30 and then um weirdly like because it turns into an a.m the next day because we have to leave at like 6 30 um to come back to oakland um but that's totally fine uh it's actually more productive for me to do that do it that way so i save the money on the hotel 
and then um, have the potential of getting home earlier on Sunday night. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So anyway, so I did that. I switched my trip, so I didn't commute today. Um, I had a doctor's appointment. Doctor said I looked great and I'm super healthy and see me in a year. And then uh, I got a couple groceries for my trip and uh, now I'm just packing just to put my stuff in my bag. One thing, as it gets colder, uh, the weather gets chillier, I have to like think about like where I'm going. <laughs> so I'm going to Hawaii, which I don't really need anything super warm for that, obviously. Maybe like a light sweater for if I did take a walk or something. But with a 10 hour overnight, I highly doubt I'm gonna be doing much. And then um, Albuquerque, doesn't really get chilly, like not yet anyway, it can. Um, that's where I'm overnighting the second night. So I, uh, and I don't even know if I'll be doing anything anyway. So anyway, that's all I have to say. And uh, that is a very boring day in the life of. <laughs> so I'm gonna pack, I'll do a little packing rundown, if you like. I mean, if that's interesting to you. We'll add on to this video my first LA schedule that I'll be getting, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. Um, that closes on the 15th and then it comes out on the 16th. So I will be on reserve and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. I don't think I did because I didn't know. I am only 10 from the bottom <laughs> in seniority in LA. So I will definitely be working some reserve and uh, it'll just be a matter of the luck of the draw for the days. Um, hopefully maybe some people forget to bid and I end up getting something a little bit better than maybe I might. Um, I'm hoping, I don't really care about working like one weekend day. I mean, I think I bid for like Sundays off, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, and then there's Thanksgiving and all that. So anywho, I will reveal my schedule, my brand new LA schedule um, in a couple days. Um, so that's coming up next. Get ready, Pitbulls. All right, so I'm gonna pack now. Um, top pocket here of my suitcase is um, underclothes and socks. That goes in there, so that's that. Um, I have a bathing suit. Um, since I am going to Hawaii, I know I won't be there very long, but perhaps. Extra uniform. Pajamas, uh, there's a shirt, so pajama pants and a t-shirt, um, something to work out in just in case. And then I have shorts, some kind of lightweight pants, and a long sleeve t-shirt. Then um, I have my tennis shoes, which I put in this little bag here. I have flip-flops, always have flip-flops, and um, uh, my this thing goes in my suitcase, which is a um, like a US, multiple multi-plug USB thing, so I can charge all my devices at night. And then and all the clothes go in this zipper bag, so I really don't ever bring more than what will fit in here. Occasionally, I'll bring like an extra like sweatshirt to go on top. Haven't figured out how I'm gonna pack my jacket yet. Um, I bought a new jacket. Let me show it to you. So this is a new jacket system that um, the company offers us. So I got this with my um, my allowance. I get a uniform allowance every year. Uh, I think I get $300 or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, so it's got this little down thingy, really lightweight, which I love because it's going to be super easy to pack. It'll roll up really small. And then if I'm going somewhere like rainy or extra cold, um, this is like an over thing, so the, the, this is like the inner part and that's the outer part, so you can wear them together. Um, probably more often we'll just take this. I don't remember ever going anywhere cold enough to need more than this, but um, so that. So I don't think I'll bring that for this trip, um, but maybe when I get like a Milwaukee or something. And also when I'm on reserve, most likely I will pack the jacket because then I don't really know where I'm going. 
Um, so that is pretty much it. Oh, my blanket, of course. I always bring my little extra blanket. Do -do -do. I put that on top. And then um, other miscellaneous things I have in my bag, uh, my little Q-tip thing, uh, deodorant, some sunscreen, um, my vitamins, and extra earplugs, a little sewing kit, lint remover sheets. That's pretty much it. Hey guys, um, I'm here at home and I wanted to take a quick look at my schedule for um, November in LA at LAX. Here's my November schedule for LA. Um, you can see that I have a trip that overlaps. So that's my last uh, uh, Oakland trip and um, I get back late-ish on the 2nd and then I start my first reserve block. That's what a reserve block looks like. Um, on the 4th and I was kind of wondering why they squished it all up like that but um, because I get back late here and this overlaps into the new month I get extra time off before I have to start this block so I technically don't see it says report at 1625 um, which is central time so I won't report until um, 225 or 1425 California time. So that's kind of nice that um, I'll get a little extra reprieve and I'll have to start like super early on the 4th. Um, and so I'm working Thursday, Friday, Saturday reserve all month. So I've had a lot of people ask me about trading for trips. A lot of people do like they take one of your reserve blocks if you take two of their trips. And I decided for this month that my first time doing reserve in LA that I was just gonna kind of leave my schedule as is just to see how it all plays out um, and maybe as the month goes on I'll feel more comfortable maybe picking up or trading or something um, and also Thanksgiving falls on my last block and clearly no one's taking that block. <laughs> I would have to put like a thousand dollars on it to get anybody to take it so that's fine. Um, Thanksgiving is a blackout day, so I highly doubt anybody's calling it out unless it's like dire emergency. Um, so there's a huge chance that I won't be working on Thanksgiving, but you just never know. Could happen. So um, that's my schedule. And uh, Ready Reserve is 24 hours, which we are fighting hard to get changed because it's just a little crazy to be like on for three days straight with essentially no breaks unless you I mean obviously like they don't fly 24 hours but anyway so it's kind of nutty um so that's my schedule I am so looking forward to being able to you know just hang out at home on reserve and then drive back home after a trip and go to bed and not have to worry about catching flights and whatnot so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and look for another one coming soon I have videos coming have a great day.